Today we are going to be doing all things Roselle, um, also known as Jamaican Sorrel, also known as Florida Cranberry. I have four different things that I'm going to do with these calyxes today that I'm going to share with you. But you can see these on the top, actually there were about three cups in the freezer from last year that I hadn't used yet. And then the rest are my harvest from two plants that, I don't know how many cups that is. This. Have y'all ever been into Tupperware? This is a that's a bowl. It holds 32 cups. So I don't know. We'll say I got 32 cups of Roselle Calyxes this year. Anyway, I'm going to let those thaw. And then we're going to get into using them to make Roselle tea, which the version I'm making is also, it's more like an alternative, um, healthier version of a Kool-Aid. Any Kool-Aid drinkers out there? A simple syrup made with roselle that you use to flavor drinks with, a roselle jam which is also called florida cranberry sauce, and then we're going to dry the rest to save for teas or to use for future recipes. Can you see the calyx? These are actually kind of squishy now because they've been in the freezer, but it actually will make them a little bit easier to peel. Um, I've heard of using an apple core to peel them. That didn't go over so well for me, so I'm just going to peel them by hand. Uh, well, that means that my hands are going to be red, the counter's going to be red, everything's going to be dyed red. But that's festive. So, it just you just pop out the seed pod like so. And there you have the starfish and the seed pod. The seed pod is going to be used for its pectin to make our jam later. So we're not going to toss this. We're not going to use all of them, but we're not going to toss some of them because we're using them for one of our recipes. So I'm going to continue peeling these, but you do not have to stand here for an hour and watch me. got so far. I've barely made a dent in this bowl and there is red juice everywhere. My hands are stained red and wrinkly. I have this massive bowl of calyxes and I have 500 grams, which is what the recipe calls for, of the fruit or it's not a fruit, it's a calyx. <laughs> anyway, 500 grams of whatever this is so first what I have to do is put some of these, I'm not going to use all of them, I don't think I need that many. So you put the pods in uh, a couple cups of water, you just want to cover it, and then you want to boil it gently for 5 to 10 minutes till it's soft and the water gets sticky, whatever that means. Then you strain the liquid, then you pour the liquid over the calyx, and you simmer that for five or ten minutes till they get soft. Then you add your sugar and you simmer it for another ten to fifteen minutes till it becomes more jam-like. Then you cool it and you can put it in the fridge. So it calls for, this particular recipe calls for two cups of sugar. I'm going to try it with just one cup because I want it to be less unhealthy if I can stand it. Okay, so I missed a step to show you, but you use your imagination. So I already poured the water off of the pods and um, totally get what they were saying when they said the water gets kind of sticky. It definitely has like a little bit of a texture to it. So I poured it off into the 500 grams of whatever we've got here. That's going to simmer for five or ten minutes and then we'll add the sugar and simmer it again for another 10 to 15 minutes. This was only two plants, y'all. I really thought, oh, I'm going to plant a whole row of these next year. No, no, stop me. Don't let me do that. <laughs> it's too much. Okay, my camera's not working with me. Um, I just dumped in the sugar into the cooked down calyxes, and it definitely looks jam-like. So you have to cook this again, and then see how thick it is and I'm gonna taste it and see if I wanna add more sugar and then we'll come back to that. So I only have a few small ones left in the bowl. And this is how many I have in this. Okay, I realize I am doing this while my dishwasher's running, but you know what? I'm gonna make this video while I have time. It's been a couple days and I had to take a break, had to just get some rest and 
not keep on trying to make all of these Roselle recipes at one time. You can also see I was working on herbs from my garden that are drying very nicely. I'm excited about that. So here is what the recipe made for the Roselle jam, aka Florida cranberry sauce. see it has the exact consistency of normal cranberry sauce and let me taste it again oh that's good I'm glad I only put one cup of sugar because that worked out really well it's nice and tart you would never know that's not a cranberry absolutely identical for tartness and flavor it's remarkable so anyway there's that and this we'll go through this pretty quickly this week this is what I have left of the Roselles that I finished peeling taking the seed pods out and I saved some seed pods and more of the calyx in the freezer to use in the future to make more jam and so now what I'm I'm gonna make one batch of the Roselle tea which calls for 25 calyx, 8 cups of water and then honey or sugar to taste. I'm also going to try the simple syrup. So the recipe calls for 5 pounds of calyx, 8 cups of sugar and 8 cups of water. I am going to cut this uh, recipe way down. I'm just going to do 1 cup of water and 1 cup of sugar and I don't even know, like half a pound, a little more than half a pound of the calyx because I just want to try the recipe out before I make any major decisions about making more of it. And then depending on what I have left over, I'm also going to go ahead and put these in the oven. On the lowest setting, I don't have a dehydrator. If I did, that's what I would use, but I'm going to dry as many of these as I can to save for teas and for gifts and for other uses in the future. I just want to see how that turns out as well. So let's get started. So for the recipe for the tea, I think I've mentioned, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, let me go ahead and say. There's also another version that is you can drink hot or cold where you add spices that are um, more festive. So you could add cinnamon and cloves and orange and all of the things that would make it festive that you could drink it hot or cold. But we're just going to go with a basic Kool-Aid. I love, you like my talking hand? A basic Kool-Aid. Um, type drink and it's gonna be very simple that's why I like it so let's get started so I've gone ahead and added eight cups of water to this pot it fit in this size so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole thing and then I'm gonna count out 25 of the calyx to go in okay I can't make up my mind what I want to do but I want to show you so this hasn't come to a boil yet we're, we're, that's going it's good this I just wanted to go ahead and lay out some on this um, cookie sheet with some parchment paper. My oven is preheating to one. Oh, it's already on 170. Let's get going. Um, and to go ahead and just dry some of these and get them started, see how long this is going to take. I want somebody to remind me next year to, when I'm harvesting calyx, to go ahead and separate them without freezing them because freezing them seemed to make them tear more when I was trying to separate them from the seed pod. That or my impatience. Let me show you, do you see that guy there that is perfect? I think it would be so neat to give as gifts um, like a little container full of just those perfect little stars all stacked up and then you just like throw one in your teacup or something like that. Doesn't that sound fun? Let's do that next year, guys. Remind me. So here is how much I have left. So I am, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. So instead of making just a fraction of the syrup recipe, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it in half. So I'm going to use two and a half pounds of this, uh, four cups of sugar, four cups of water. Our simple syrup is a one-to-one -one ratio. And keep in mind, this is something you use just a little bit to like flavor your teas and things like that. So I can't start that right now because the pot I need is in the dishwasher. The tea steep and cool in the pot and now I'm going to make a mess pouring it in this jar so 
I had added the sugar while it was still hot so that it could dissolve. And I added a half a cup of sugar. I could have used honey, but I just grabbed the sugar. Oops. <laughs> Keeping it real. Okay, that's still pretty warm. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then taste it. And I mean, I can still add more sugar if I want to, if I don't think it's sweet enough, but I'm, I'm pretty sure half a cup of sugar for eight cups is gonna be nice. Not too sweet and also way less sugar than what's called for in, you know, um, normal Kool-Aid. All right, for the simple syrup. So I think I already said I was gonna have the recipe and it calls for five pounds of the calyx, but I just realized it says discard the seeds. So did that mean measure it before you take the seeds out or after? Who knows? Anyway, I have four cups of water, four cups of sugar, and two and a half pounds of the calyx that I already peeled, and if that's too many, oh well. And it says boil it, boil until it's thickish, and you can use it to flavor your teas, or you can use it as a cold drink if you wanted to use just a glass of cold water and add some to flavor your water. That works too. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and I'll bring you guys back when it's done. So now, I let it cool a little bit, but I'm impatient. Now we're talking. Let me turn this where you can see it. All right, I grabbed another bowl just to see if I could get any more to just drip out of there. Now we're gonna pour this into these bowls. Now we're gonna pour this into these jars. cool a little bit longer before I pop it in the fridge and I might transfer these into smaller bottles if I can find some bottles like this I think that would make such a cute gift a smaller little pourable bottle than in these jars but we're gonna do the best we can also I have no idea how long I actually boiled the mixture because apparently the absent-minded gardener is also the absent-minded cook so you follow the recipe, I don't know. Since I really wasn't sure if I actually put in too much fruit, there was a little more liquid in it, so I let it boil longer than I anticipated based on trying to get it to cook down a little bit more. All right, we made it, folks. Here we have the dried Roselle calyx, and it took about three hours in the oven, and it was set on 170 Fahrenheit. Do you see what I mean when I say these would be so neat to have these little stars like in a package together? Very festive. Okay, so here is the syrup that we made. That recipe made a lot, even though I cut the recipe in half. There's the jam, also known as Florida cranberry sauce. And here is the Roselle tea. And I tasted it. It's not completely cold yet. Half a cup of sugar. It's got almost, I don't know, it's not, it's just not quite sweet enough. So I think I'm gonna add another quarter cup of sugar and see how much that helps. But I just wanna say, what have we learned here today? We have learned that you subscribe to my channel for entertainment, for encouragement, for ideas, but not for how to very specific, easy to follow recipes. Am I right? y'all love me anyway, right? You're gonna stick around anyway, right? <laughs> okay, this concludes my playing around with Roselle, and I encourage you to try to plant it yourself so you can make all kinds of really cool things out of it, 
And if you live somewhere where you can't grow cranberries, then you can make your own things that you would normally use cranberries for by growing something yourself. So I hope you enjoyed it. I love y'all. Bye.